Hey there, it's the Planet V. Today we're taking you on a trip to Cudillero, a hidden gem in Asturias, Spain. This quaint village is full of stunning scenery and delicious cuisine. From wandering the narrow streets to hiking the nearby natural parks, we had a blast exploring this beautiful region. Shout out to our friend Iveta who hosted us and brought us around the area. So before we start, hit that like and share button and don't forget to subscribe to the Planet V for more exciting adventures. Let's go. Cudiero is a charming fishing village, a quaint little town and a hidden gem known for its colorful houses that cascade down the hillside towards the sea, creating a stunning view that takes your breath away. Cudiero's houses are painted in bright, vibrant colors which is a tradition that dates back to the village's fishing roots. The bright colors were originally used to help fishermen identify their homes from the sea. Cudillero is also situated on the famous Camino de Santiago, a popular pilgrimage route that attracts thousands of visitors every year. The town has long been a stopover point for those making the journey, offering a warm welcome to travelers from all over the world. But it's not just the history and culture that makes Cudillero such a special place. The town is located in the Costa Verde or Green Coast region of Spain, which is known for its rugged coastline, lush green hills, deep blue sea, and unspoiled natural beauty. The area is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, making it a paradise for natural lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. Let's not forget the food. Asturias is known for its incredible cuisine with hearty dishes like fabada, cachopo, and the famous Asturian cider. Yeah, oh, gracias. <laughs> Cudillero's fishing heritage means that seafood is also a staple, with fresh catches of octopus, squid, and lobster served in local restaurants. Try to go down to the beach area. What's the name of the place again? Cabo de Cuevas? We oui, see. Si. Si, senor. Si, senor. Look at that. This place reminds me of uh, Le Fales de Trita in France. But Esta playa es muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> today and it's drizzling a bit but you can feel the power of the North Atlantic Ocean. 
So Iveta said that on a normal day, you could see a beautiful sunset in here. Imagine this area is beautiful. So for the meantime, let's use our imagination. The Faro de Cabo Video is a magnificent lighthouse located on the Cabo Video headland. Standing at a height of 18 meters above sea level, it was built in 1893 and has since become a beloved landmark and tourist attraction in the area. The lighthouse was originally constructed to guide ships through the treacherous waters of the Bay of Biscay, which can be challenging to navigate due to strong currents and unpredictable weather conditions. The lighthouse is surrounded by a picturesque landscape of cliffs, hills, and greenery, which makes it an ideal spot for hiking, photography, or simply taking in the stunning scenery. Faro de Cabo Video has also served as the backdrop for several films and TV shows over the years. Fans of the popular Spanish TV series La Casa de Papel and the 2019 movie Adios may recognize The Lighthouse, which has been featured in both productions. Last time guys, Iveta prepared something delicious for us. Let's see. Here are the birds. Forest over there. This is actually part of the Camino. This street here. Hey, we have a new friend. Yeah. Hey. Hola. Hey. <laughs> friend. Oh, nice yeah. friend. We have most of visitor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Asturias, guys. Mm -hmm. It's place. all Iveta in Asturias. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, Dirty it's a perfect combination. <laughs> yeah, perfect combination of if you were doing a Iveta Asturiana. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever visited a place that left you speechless? Laya de Guadamilla in Bufones is one of those places for me, a hidden gem tucked away on the northern coast of Spain. This beach is surrounded by towering cliffs and boasts sparkling waters that glitter in the sunlight. When we visited Playa de Guadamilla, we knew we had to explore the area. We walked around, trying to avoid the sharp stones that litter the beach. As we made our way along the coastline, we were awestruck by stunning natural beauty of the place. The cliffs created a natural amphitheater that echoed with the sound of the waves crashing against the shore. You will also see here the bufones, a series of blowholes that shoot water up to 20 meters high. It was a calm day, so we just imagined the water crashing through the blowholes. But what I love most about Playa de Guadamilla is this kind of place that invites you to slow down, take a deep breath, and just be present in the moment. So if you're looking for a little piece of paradise in Spain, 
I highly recommend visiting Playa de Guadamilla in Bufones. Just be sure to watch your step and avoid those sharp stones. Thank you for joining us on this adventure in Asturias. If you're planning a visit to this beautiful region of Spain, I highly recommend staying with our friend Iveta. Her home offers plenty of space for families or groups, and she's an amazing guide who will show you all the best spots in the area. Plus, you'll have the chance to taste her delicious home-cooked food and experience her vibrant spirit and hospitality. And if you're looking for a way to support a good cause while you're here, be sure to check out the link in the description. Iveta has written a powerful story about her journey and is raising funds to support a cause that's close to her heart. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to stay tuned for the next part of our Asturias adventure. Hasta luego!